Hello everyone, today I'm going to play Cliff Burton's top 10 hardest bass lines and solos. For anyone who doesn't know, Cliff Burton was the former bassist for Metallica and widely considered to be one of the greatest, if not the greatest, metal bassists of all time. The first time I ever heard Cliff was actually the first CD I ever bought, which was Ride the Lightning. I often think Cliff was to bass as Jimi Hendrix was to guitar, but just a lot more metal. But in a similar way to Hendrix, Cliff would often take long unaccompanied, often fairly improvised solos at live shows, and with his innovative playing completely changed the way people think of <laughs> Tragically, Cliff died in a bus crash in 1986, but in those three years with Metallica he did so much to help shape their sound, apparently teaching James and Kirk a lot of his classical music theory knowledge and also co-writing about half the songs. I'm going to be using this dark glass aggressively distorting advanced machine today to play Cliff Burton's top 10 hardest bass lines and solos. If you're wondering how I got that nice distorted tone, a lot of it is down to this guy right here, 
the dark glass aggressively distorted advanced machine. This pedal is great if you want a wide variety of heavily distorted sounds. There's a lot of controls on it that allow you to shape your sound exactly the way you want it. You've got a range of compression ratios from 4 to 1 to 20 to 1 and finally all in. You have five different distortion modes ranging from mild and articulate to fuzz sounds that almost sound like a synth. You also have a compression knob that keeps the signal driven at the right level, a drive knob, a character knob that adjusts the tone of the distortion, a blend knob that allows you to mix in some of your unprocessed signal with the distortion, and finally a level knob. And if that wasn't already enough control, you've got these touch sensitive EQ sliders and an impulse response library of hundreds of bass and guitar cabinets. And finally, it was designed in Finland, so you know it's gonna be good. Anyway, I really like this pedal for metal. I've left a link in the description if you wanna check it out. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video.